Welcome to a special Bordlandia Unboxed. Today, we're gonna open up the Battle of the Five Armies Collector's Edition. I've been waiting a long time for this. It's like a really long time, like years, and it came to our house and he didn't open it, I stopped him. <laughs> so we could open it now for you guys. Let's take a look. <laughs> uh, this arrived to our house. I was very, very eager to open it, but I resisted the urge. Uh, I've been waiting, I think it's been two years um, for this. So, yeah, it's it's gonna be awesome. I already know it. It's um, copy number 1034 oh, yeah. of 1500. Yes. Why, it's written on the box. Oh, I got a little oh, more oh, cutting to do. Uh, which we're gonna throw away. So hopefully the copy number is inside. Somewhere. This uh, this is not something you can buy. I mean, they, if there's extra copies, you might be able to go to Aries website and get yourself a copy. Uh, it's not something you'll find in retail. Oh, this is beautiful. Okay, one. We'll get it out of here. Somehow. Okay. It's, we're gonna do this. Oh my. All right. So, here you go. Before I even get the wrapper off, oh, let's see if we can kind of tip it up a little bit. Is it bit. heavy? It's heavy, it's 18 pounds. Whoa. This bad boy, I don't even know if the camera can even, it's, there we go. There is uh, some holographic, I don't know what you want to call it, writing on there. Yeah, let's get this really pretty plastic looking. off. Um, if you have seen videos for, or, or have yourself, the anniversary edition of Lord of the Rings. Oh, what am I thinking of? Lord of the Rings. Uh, it's on the shelf at home. Yeah, I just I can't, can't think of the name. Uh, it's a very similar box. That one's brown. This one's black. I really like the black and gray. Those are anniversary editions, but they're produced kind of the same style here. So we're going to lift this up. The case is like... Ooh. It's very canvas? thick. Like uh, yeah, and this is canvas. It's all s nice, smooth. I don't know if we're gonna have enough room on this table. Whoa. So this should be magnetic, is all. Yep. So it's got a little magnetic lock there. You can see it's the front oh is very. Oh man, here we might as well move this. The front is also very shiny and stands out. Kind of like that. This yeah. one's even more. It's gold. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, that's pretty. Inside. Oh, my goodness. All right. There are multiple trays here. So let's. If you really want Battle of the Five Armies as well, they make this in normal size. Uh, not, not super gigantic. Yeah, not gigantic. <laughs> but so there's a couple trays in here. So the first tray, we have a hardcover rule book and some of the cards to help you play the game. Ooh. Let me get, get it out here. Which one has a cover? Oh. Again, hardcover rule book. Oh, this is, there's yeah. a lot. Let me just show a little bit on the inside. Oh, the pages are uh, thick. Yeah. Pages. Like textured. So there, there is a lot of rules to this game uh, and the other Lord of the Rings game. Cool. That is awesome. What do you um, got there? There's a lot of rules, and also here's your cheat sheet as a character. <laughs> oh, there we go. It's a little heavy. Certificate authenticity. Oh, nice. Copy number 1034. So if you have a hardcore Lord of the Rings fan, uh, I would definitely check out Ares' website to see if there's any left. There might be. Uh, you could snag a copy of this. Let me put this back in there. We've got some punch boards mm -hmm. here. These don't look any different than the base game. What is this? Whoa. Oh, they're like the same? This is different though. Oh, no. I yeah, bet no, you this is... I don't know why. Yeah, why Dale... Oh, it's a big copy and a small copy. Interesting. These aren't in the original game. Um, so, there's bigger... And like, here's Airbore and Airbore. There's two different sizes. So the they must have included a small version of the board or something. I'll have to look at that. All right, so let's put this back quick. Put that there, that there. Okay, and much like the other Lord of the Rings game, each in between each tray that they put in here, there's a big divider that they have um, that kind of shows what's underneath this. Oh, is so, that what's on the back? Yes, so if I flip it around, 
the tray underneath has all of these pieces, which I'll show in just a second. A lot of miniatures in this game, and they're all hand-painted. Wow. So that's going to be really neat. Oh, oh I pulled the other one. Okay. So we got all of these guys. Oh, the dice are cool. Yes. They have that, like, bright blue color. Let me take this off. This okay, really it's uh, yeah, like a felt or like a velvet insert. Very smooth, so none of your miniatures that are nice and painted. This is Bjorn. Uh, I guess this would be like the king of the eagles. Um, so Gandalf? those guys are pretty cool. Is that Gandalf? Looks yep, like Gandalf. that's Gandalf. And then we have a couple other, a uh, bunch of the dwarves there. So these are really wow. neat. We have uh, the elves, the woodland elves, I believe. That's really cool on the dice. Yeah, the dice are very uh, like gold sheen to them with blue pips. Yeah. They have a little spot. So, similar. I'm assuming this is for some of the stuff. Yep, that you some of the out. stuff we're going to punch a out. Standy yeah. thing. We'll put in there. Okay. So let's do that. Next. All right. Next. So these oh are the, these are going to be like some of the bad guys. Oh, oh and Lots they have their guys. own set of dice. Yep. Oh, in the back. Yep. So a little picture of the back. All right. The bad guys. Let's just take this off right away. They have like a black and gray swirl dice. They look pretty cool. Look at this guy. Huh. A big goblin. There's um, a lot of them. There is. There's some war riders. There's the bats. If you're familiar with the movies and haven't read the books, um, you would you'll know what these are. You don't have to watch the movie or read the books to play the game. No. But we just rewatched the movies. That is really neat. Again, felt lined. Really nice stuff. Okay. Killer Bjorn picture. Oh. Yeah, that's Bjorn. Not what I was expecting for the bottom tray. Um, this is just, yeah, the bottom tray is the board, which is, yep, so I'll leave it in there. I'll just remove the cover for it. It's big. It's very big. Ooh. Oh, it's like a secret at the bottom. Yeah. So there's bags. Very nicely laid to Hold in your there. tokens. Yeah, very nice in there. Nice quality. The board. Ooh, I like how the board has... The parts of it are like a colored, shiny. Oh yeah, each, um, this is gonna be, this is pretty big. Yeah. Okay, so well, yeah, this is the board. It's, like I said, it's pretty big board. Um, all the little, the stickers on yeah. here. I don't even know if they're. I think that detail really makes it look It's like a decal, nice. but yeah, they all kind of pop out and are really shiny, almost like a, it looks like a sticker, but I can't I feel an edge really. Yeah, so I I'm not don't really, either. I'm not sure how they did that. Uh, but the board is going to be much larger. I think the the base game might be might have a board. Yeah, this is a little too big or too small. I think it would come out to here maybe the other board. So it's probably a good twenty to thirty percent bigger for this version. Thanks for watching this special edition of Boardlandia Unboxed. If you liked what you saw and want to stay up to date with other Boardlandia videos, give us a like, and don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. We'll see you next time on Boardlandia Unboxed. Are you ready? Yeah, it's are gonna be gonna different. Are you gonna not oh. touch the thing behind you? <laughs> Anybody else see that? Yeah, He's like, <laughs>